when I try to switch from Mac machine to Windows machine, sometimes I have one question. How can I access the Mac machine remotely from my Windows computer? In this video, I will show you how you can do this thing. It's very simple and easy. Trust me, it's very simple. But if you don't know, it's very difficult. So let's see how we can connect our Mac computer from our Windows machine. Okay, so this is my Mac machine. At first, I am going to uh, change some settings for this Mac. Uh, so I'm going to click Apple menu and it will bring us this menu. From here, we have to choose system settings. I'm going to click here and the system settings window will be appear shortly. And here left side, we'll find couple of menus are there. We have to choose general. Once we click general, right side, we'll find one option that is called sharing. We need to access the sharing to allow our computer this mac computer uh, remote access basically for other windows computers or something like that so here screen sharing is one for me but it should be off for you i just turned it on that's why it is one now here basically we just need to click this button and it will be one and this should be uh, like this color blue color and this should be green color that means it is one but uh, beside this we also need to change some other settings also we need to press this eye icon which means the information and it will bring this type of window at first we need to change the computer settings we just, so we are going to click here and then we'll find two options are there vnc viewer make control screen with password we need to check this thing if we click here it will be checked and then we need to set a password i'm going to type a password for my vnc you will type your password uh, which definitely should be a strong password and once you type it then press the ok button to set the password now we have to choose uh, the users who want to access so uh, by i'm going to choose all users but you can also change it to other user also so for my cases i'm going to choose all users and then i'm going to press the done button now once this settings is completed then we are going to close it because we don't need any more changes of the settings so i'm going to close it so that we are all set from our mac machine so now one thing is remaining let me find out the ip address so we need to click here and then we just need to type on command ipconfig and then not ip this is for windows co uh, computer uh, to check the ip sorry so we need to type the uh, uh, like uh, the command sorry <laughs> it's the command right ifconfig if config this is for the mac machine to check the ip address so from here basically we can check the ip address so right now uh, let's see what is the ip addresses uh, address basically it is showing so this is the ip address right 192.168.1.122 so right click and then copy it okay now let's jump to our windows machine so i'm going to jump to my windows machine so this is my windows 11 machine or you can use any windows operating system like windows 10 or some other machine also same now we need to install one software it is called real uh, ultra vnc i'm going to use ultra vnc but you can use other vnc also but this software is the best software so far my understanding and i used it a lot of time so i'm going to click here and the ultra vnc window will be open here we need to type the ip address so i'm going to paste the ip address which i copied uh, but you have to type uh, it i type i actually copied directly from there basically so it is showing like that here now we have to choose direct and then we have to uh, click the connect button once we click the connect button it will bring this window and here it is asking the password for the vnc authentication okay so i'm going to type the password which i said before so i just typed it and then i'm going to press the login button so once it is logged in i mean the password is correct then it will bring us this type of window where we can actually check uh, uh, the thing uh, i mean uh, the username password panel uh, for our mac where we can type so before typing the password i'm going to maximize this screen so i'm going to click here so that it will be maximized something like that but uh, the resolution of my windows machine is much more higher than this mac machine that's why it is coming like this so let's uh, type the password i'm going to type the password and once i type the password if the password is correct then we'll see like this now we can press the ok button this is different thing basically uh, we can ignore it anyway so this is the thing right which uh, a few minutes before we just uh, like uh, check the ip address right so this is that machine so it is giving me some annoying messages okay now those are gone okay now we are okay so this is a, my mac a remote mac machine so i'm going to i'm actually accessing it from my windows computer and here we actually checked just now we checked the ip address right this is the ip address we checked 
now if you want to check some other things like if you want to open the browser we can also do like if you want to go apple.com we can also easily go something like that and everything we can do so basically uh, we are able to access the mac machine remotely from our windows machine right so i'm going to close it and if you want to open other application like uh, or not like that you can also open you can type something like that okay that's it so that's it guys in this way we can easily configure our mac machine so that we can open it remotely from our windows com uh, computer hopefully by watching this video you are able to do this thing this is a straightforward tutorial okay if you miss anything uh, you can join the whole video and here i mentioned everything step by step clearly hopefully this will be very helpful for you uh, because i know uh, when i try to connect this computer took lots of time to check this thing but finally i found it and i made a video for you guys so that you can easily access the mac computer very easily remotely from your windows machine thank you guys for watching the video see you next